Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. We gonna make our circle today. I've already I've already measured it out. Love you. I just need to build it. All right, this is where we're at. Okay, don't panic. Welcome to a very different hardcore world. We blew up the end island a bit. Three I've measured out the circle, the width of the circle. I'm guessing it's the diameter. It's been so long since I've done this. Um, is 201. 100 that way. 100 that way. And then the middle block is the one block, so 201. So this is where it's going to end. This is where the wall is going to be. Right here. Now, what's interesting about this is that I didn't know that these things weren't fully symmetrical. So look at this, right? This one lines up perfectly with this end city portal. Let's go have a look at the other one. Know something wrong? Something that doesn't look quite right? I didn't know this. I didn't know this was a thing. I've always thought they were symmetrical. And clearly, you guys thought so too. Because that reaction was the exact same reaction as me. Like, oh no! <laughs> I still eat the world. Restart again. <laughs> Season five. I'll wait for this to read. To everyone getting their GCSEs <laughs> tomorrow, remember that grades don't define you. I got two U's and I'm just about to start my second year at uni. Good advice. Do not worry about it. It's not the end of the world if you don't get a good grade. Don't panic. And if you really, really wanted to, you can always retake them next year. Don't shit the bed. Okay. So we need to build out to 100. On this little line here. This is how far out we want the island to be. Sketch city. Yeet. <laughs> Just jump forward. <laughs> Do a flip. Yeet big pog. <laughs> God. Three. Four. Five. My seven, pop says eight, hi. Eight, For nine, some reason she likes ten. watching you. <laughs> People have sent me um, videos on Twitter of their cats also watching stream as well. And they try to catch the uh, emotes on screen that go Pizza flying around. Token luck. Pretty funny. <laughs> I think we're good, guys. I'm going to check it in a sec. We're going to make absolutely certain. I think we're good. Just going to link this up. This is the exact middle right there. I think that lines up perfectly. I think we did it. Yep, we're on zero. Minus one, zero, plus one. I thought so. I kept like, you, you second guess yourself a lot when you do circles in Minecraft, especially on this scale. Like the circle that it did for the ocean monument in season two. Dude, the amount of times I like second guess myself and like redid a section because I wasn't sure if it was correct. It happens so often. There we have it, folks. So this is going to be the wall. Let's go fill this in now. I need to check something. I need to know because I had I had this thought earlier today about things that we're going to put in end lanterns, right? This right here, I was thinking about turning into a like a hot bat with like lava and magma blocks. So like a bunch of bubbles would be going like straight up from the bottom. Like a, yeah, like a water cave essentially, right? And that got me thinking, that got me thinking, how much of this am I going to use to like, kind of like shift and move around? Like how, cause it's all, it's not all going to be flat, right? We're going to tear apart a big chunk of this. This is going to be a blank canvas for now, sure. But a big part of this build is going to be kind of sculpting the land to look more natural in different places. Okay. If it was completely flat and we just put sand on top of it, then we're kind of limiting the amount of room we have to work with. All right? If we tear into the bottom part of this island, though, that gives us a lot more depth, a lot more canvas to work with, so we can make caves if we want. We can make hidden underground, like, Easter eggs, essentially, in the island. Once everything is filled in with water, sky's the limit, dude. We can literally do whatever the f we want. 
This place will be fully safe from any hostile mobs. The ender dragon can't even spawn unless we tell it to. And the enderman will just not spawn, period. So, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be pretty cool. XQC, all weird with the prime, thank you. I'll be down to play with XQC, but I don't think you guys understand that he could not give a fuck, I don't think. About, like, me, I'm pretty certain. Like, why would he want to play with me? Play with Pokemon? Sure. Yeah, he would definitely... that He did that. That makes sense. But I'm like a speck on the uh, Minecraft chart. Stop being so humble. You are one of the only ones on the yellow Minecraft text. Oh, yeah, that's true. Actually, we're... <laughs> We're literally in the game. So like for a lot a long time, right? I didn't really like think of that as bragging rights, but when I was trying to get into Minecraft Monday, I said, F this. I'm just gonna I'm gonna flex on Keem. And like literally I sent him a tweet that basically just said, Keem, I am literally in the game. <laughs> it was like the most dick. It was the most dick move tweet I've ever made. I sounded like an absolute arsehole. But I even said it on stream. I was like, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna flex right now. And don't take it seriously. I'm literally just trying to get his attention. <laughs> Cause I didn't get into Minecraft Monday week one because of like he didn't he didn't know who I was, he didn't care. Even though I sent like the, the viewers and everything, like the um the viewer counts and stuff. The only reason I got into week two was because Jerome got me in. It was actually a combination of Jerome and Jay Schlatt, actually. Jay Schlatt recommended to Jerome that, hey, Phil can play. He gets these viewers. And then Jerome asked Keem and got me in. That was the only reason. All of the tweets that I had that got like tons of likes and all you guys spamming Keem. Phew, straight over his head. <laughs> Some people on the inside. That's all it took. <laughs> Dude, I'm so tempted to do the redstone machine to fill this thing in with water, but like, I feel like doing it manually would be manually would be just so much safer, and it might end up being quicker as well because the the machine is gonna like go for so long, and it can only go in straight lines <laughs> and do like uh, rectangles. Can't do corners like this. So if anything, it's gonna be more complicated to do. Might just do the kelp thing, and if you don't know what that is. Uh, basically, if you just place like water at the very top of something and then place kelp at the bottom, hey, at Sean Funk. it's like spam it. It makes all of those blocks become source blocks of water. All source blocks? Yes. I literally was just getting to that. Yes, we, we are. Yeah. So we can make a fl make, we can make a bunch of flowing water blocks, right? Oh, at the very, very top, greedy, tippity top. Greedy and then bird. kelp it. placed at the very bottom will cause Try all of those flowing blocks to become because I felt source. Dived a sweet berry bush after escaping like five zombies on the first night. Nagib Hop. Oh, greedy, greedy. You died to a berry bush. Worth it. Tank facts. Died to a berry bush. What a way to go. <laughs> Imagine if I'd lost my season two world to that. Denari, thank you for the tier one. Base case, false thank you for the prime. Hi, Dad. I've come from YouTube to say PewDiePie has cutie pie and syndicated Sendaiki, so I'm starting a petition for your wife who to be Milkza. No. She's called she's called Trickston Online, and we're keeping it to that. <laughs> Trickster. <laughs> Guys, we've already came up with a couple name, okay? The cut uh, fisting. It's canon, by the way. <laughs> I think I even came up with that. That was ages ago. Uh, oh, <laughs> I didn't even. Oh. I completely whiffed on this little thing here. Let's get rid of it. It was just sat here. I just completely ignored it. <laughs> I was too busy concentrating on the circle. Gotta make sure the circle's right, guys. Yeah. Looking good. Are you going to, you, are you going to fill those in or just make it look like it is? So these corners actually are not like all well, the edges, I should say specifically. Um, we don't need to. 
So I'm kind of like being smart with how we terraform this. We're taking the materials that we can use from these edges, making them spread out and flat. Most of the stuff that's going to go into the island is going to be in the middle or near the main island part. So the edges are free real estate in terms Everyone of just like building up. Be too high. <laughs> LOL, just use nether portals. Lol, just use interdimensional rifts, guys. <laughs> Top notch gameplay right here. <laughs> Alright, the hype. The hype can't be contained right now. <laughs> Thick. <laughs> but we get to the grindy parts, guys. We need to kill another wither as well. So I'm thinking about going to the uh, nether realm once we've done the rest of this circle on this side. See if we can get some more wither skulls. Make it in in the nether but instead of water it's lava. Oh yeah, dude. I can't imagine how amazing that would look. Just not being able to see anything swimming in lava. <laughs> What's the chance I die while building this? Uh, I'd have to be really stupid. I'd have to do the big dumb and not have my elytra on and that's to that's accounting for me not being able to switch to my elytra as well so i don't know anything can happen i mean look how i died in season two for god's sake just gotta be careful that's the main rule of hardcore just be careful don't put yourself in a situation that you know you couldn't, couldn't get out of and that night in season two i put myself in a situation that i shouldn't have been in in the first place should have had my chest plate on. I was wearing my elytra. Bunch of dumb mistakes. Just rolled into one terrible event. <laughs> Just be careful, forehead. You get your GC GCSE results tomorrow, says Nauticus or Nauticus, I should say, sorry. Um, anyone else getting their Yeah, a lot of people actually. A lot of people getting their results tomorrow. Read a friendly, friendly donation earlier. Telling everyone not to worry. Don't panic. If you don't get good results, it's not the end of the world. They don't determine what you can be okay i think for the most part i got majority a's b's and c's my gcse's i got a d in french <laughs> i just remembered <laughs> oh that class was a fucking joke phil yeah, any anyway. advice for a streamer who just died in their hardcore world nowhere near as good as yours but i'm still beyond and frown Still burned. Sad face. Oh, I got you. I got you. Um, it's up to you, man. If if not, like I said before, I've said this multiple times. Hardcore isn't for everybody. It really isn't. Like, there's only so much people can take of dying in a hardcore world. I haven't reached that point yet. I haven't reached the point of like no return, as to sp so to speak, where I just don't want to play hardcore anymore. I'm still like hungry for hardcore progression. Um. And creating a, a really cool world. So, if you're not if you're not feeling that, then just play a regular oh, on hard greedy, mode. Greedy There's no shame in that. Worth it. You just get to keep your world. Hi, Phil's. I love your videos. Keep up the great content. Can we get a brew moment in chat? <laughs> Thank you for the five. Yeah, that's what I'd say, Dan. If it's if if you if you hear it, if you if you kind of just like completely demotivated and you don't want to play hardcore, then don't. It's fine. It's not the be all and end all of Minecraft. It's a fun mode, but you don't have to play hardcore. You can still create amazing things. You can still have engaging conversation with chat. You can still have fun streaming. But again, that's how the frick is Phil so cute. <laughs> Maybe the three months. But that's just like how how I see it, right? I like hardcore. I keep playing hardcore. I like interacting with chat. Will that change in the future? I'm probably not gonna like hardcore forever. I don't know how long it'll take for me to get sick of it but right now it's like the only game mode i enjoy playing because there's always that risk of dying there's always that risk of losing everything to a dumb mistake i've said it like multiple times you guys know why i love it and a lot of you here love it for the exact same reasons but it can get really demotivating if you've died like over and over and over again recently or like you've gotten really far i mean after when i died in season two dude i was like i was so depressed five years man I was so down. It took me like a couple of days to like pull myself out of it. I was like, oh, this sucks. I can't believe I died that way. It was so stupid. 
But after like a couple of days to like a week, I was starting to get that itch again. I was like, I want to play hardcore again. I want to, I want to get further. I want to do cooler things, you know? That's the best advice I can give you is just do what makes you happy. <laughs> and then we came along. Yep, you guys came along. <laughs> like, oh, this guy. This guy likes hardcore. This guy likes hardcore a lot. Seems kind of fun. Yeah, it is fun. Dude, I'm so hyped to get Atlantis like looking even like semi done, not even fully done. I just want the water in here. I want it to look. I, I want the I want the canvas of water, dude. How was your day? Mine is great. Do you have a favorite game other than Minecraft? Rocket League and Monster Hunter are pretty high up on my list after Minecraft. I play more Rocket League than I should. <laughs> I should play more more Minecraft to be honest. I should play more hardcore mode and get more like stuff done off stream. But the call of Rocket League whilst I'm rendering a video is too high. Or whilst I'm taking a break, I'll like jump on Rocket League for a bit. Or I'll jump on Monster Hunter. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. How do you defeat Trident wielding drowns early game? Am I the only one that doesn't have underwater combat quite figured out? How the noob out? <laughs> um, you don't. You get the f away. Early game, unless you have a shield. If you have a shield, then you're good. You run away, though, if you don't have a shield. Early game, Trident Drowned are lethal. Absolutely lethal. They are like snipers in the ocean, dude. Don't even contest them unless you have a shield. Don't even bother. There's always one Enderman just chilling right where I need to be. Just hanging out. Go away. Oh my god. <laughs> that little push scared me, dude. I thought I was going to go off and I didn't have my hand on the keyboard. Does your armor help if you fall off the end? No. Nothing can save you from fall damage. Sorry. Void damage. The armor doesn't do anything. If I get the amount of ticks it takes to kill you. Um, I did tests in like a creative world to figure out if you can come back from the brink of the void, if that makes sense. Totem can, it can't. I tried to think of um, ways to save myself if I fell off the edge. And totems don't work. Enchantments don't work. The point of no return is minus 64 or 67 in the end realm. And think of it like this, right? When I was testing it out, I don't know if they've changed it. Think of the void as the event horizon of a black hole. Once you pass the event horizon, there's no coming back. Even if you're gliding, I think. God, Apple doesn't do anything. Nothing affects... I even tested it so much to the point where I went down in creative mode, right? In a creative world, I went down there in creative mode and just kind of like sat there and took about like three ticks of the void damage. Then flew back up, regen to full health, went back down, and it took two or one ticks to kill to kill me. The void damage has its own kind of rules. Worth it. And it builds up. The void damage is its own damage. Think of the void damage having its own health bar. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you in a creative world. We'll give it a test. Thank you, Robin, for the 10, man. Headphone test. I'll go there in a sec. Oh, fun fact, by the way. Uh, if you didn't realize, you can take fall damage by falling into a portal. If I went into survival mode and fell into this, I would take fall damage and die. Unless they changed it. They didn't change it. It's the same as it was. So um, if you want to have a cool entrance to your end realm, don't do it in the sky. Don't fall into a portal. You will take fall damage on the way back in. So if you go down to, I believe it's minus 64 or minus 67. So we're at minus 45, 50, minus 60, 64. Right. We took two ticks there. Did you hear it? Four ticks. Now if I go up and just pretend like nothing happened. Put ourselves back up to full health. So we're going to go back down there with pretty much full health 
one two three four five six so it is six so you notice how it took five that time because it remembers the void damage from before so even if you're like down there it'll still like kind of stack that damage i could take like a golden apple down there right and you can chug these a bunch but it's not gonna care it's not gonna give a shit i'll be full health oh my god they changed it They changed it? When did they do this? I tested this like back in 1.12. Holy shit. This, you couldn't do this in all the versions of the game. It, was, it wouldn't care. It would just kill you. You could. Were my tests fucked? Did I fuck up my test? I remember dying to one tick of void damage when I was doing my tests and I had full health. Yo, this is insane. What if I change my game mode really quickly? Oh, I can't eat it. Okay. <laughs> can't eat it in creative. Maybe because I tested it in creative? But I died to one tick. When I tested it, the real test now is actually going to be this. Can we come back from the event horizon? Is it doable? We're going to go down to minus 64. So we're still gliding. Fireworks barely work. It takes a lot to get out. Yeah, you see what I mean? It's like it's pulling us down. We are going back up, but very slowly. If this ever happens to us, we have almost no time at all to react. Wow. You see how many I had to use to get out of that? Julie noted. Whew. If that ever happens, we have the smallest window to save ourselves, but it's doable. Before, I didn't think it was doable. My testing from like 1.12, I think I did those tests, came back negative. <laughs> like it wasn't doable once you got past that, that like point of void damage. Once you started taking void damage, it wouldn't let you fly away. Unless I just did it terrible. Unless I did a terrible test. I'm starting to believe now. I might have just messed the test up. The end realm is such a scary place. Honestly. I know this test we can always get right though. <laughs> Left ear test. Right ear test. I make it, well, it looks like I'm making Minecraft's biggest pancake. It looks like it. When in actuality, it's going to be a big bowl of water. The pancake is the bottom of the bowl. I got you. Dizzy. Why don't you just use world edit for the water kappa? <sighs> Slash fill forehead. You left both my donos in episode 24. It made my effing day. Big pot. <laughs> Suck it, plebs. Oof. Have a jakey jk. I love you, plebs. Thank you for the five. Just know that if I um, put in a donation, uh, or me reading out a donation, I should say, sorry, during one of those episodes, it's usually because it was either really funny or it kind of rolls into me talking about something else. Like if I'm already talking about something, then I'm going to put it in. A lot of the time, I don't really like putting in the donations into the video anymore because I feel like the YouTube YouTube crowd don't really appreciate it. Like, it's not me playing the game, you know? It's not me doing progress. It's me just talking to Twitch chat, which they feel like they're not really a part of, in a way. Um, but I don't know. I feel like talking to you guys is the biggest part of my stream, ultimately. 
I'm kind of like in a struggle. I don't know what to do with that sort of thing. I'm just doing what feels right currently. What feels like makes sense for the video. But there's like a small minority of people that complain when I'm not playing the game and I'm just talking the chat. But it's just a small minority, so I'm not really like too bothered. A lot of people still enjoy the videos for what they are. Because they are essentially just highlights of the stream. They are the stream experience in a condensed format. Four to five hours, sometimes six hours condensed down into 40 minutes. And Lantus is Phil's huge bat bathtub says it's Papa. <laughs> oh, this is where the game of bathwater is getting made, guys. Just you wait. You do you. Oh, thank you for the seven, man. Yeah, I'm going to try. I'm going to try and just like do what I think is makes a good video. What's funny, what's enjoyable and entertaining. I want to see how this looks. It, I think it should be fine. Um, I need to see like a bird's eye view of what this side part looks like. So we'll go flying in a second. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. This is fine, but this, it needs, this part needs trimming. Like, the areas that need trimming are just the, the bits where things can spawn. Like, these edges need to go, right? But still within the border of the inner circle. It's still good. Have homework, but this is more important. Do your homework, dude! I, I'm not being held responsible for you guys failing your tests, I swear to God. <laughs> Chat, calm down. It's okay. I know it's freaky. I've gone Elytra and fireworks, all right? Oh, dude, you guys would have absolutely lost your shit back in season two before fireworks propelled you with Elytra. I would have to shoot myself with a bow. It was a bow that had punch two and infinity. And what you would do is you just barely shoot something. You'd barely shoot out like this. And if you timed it right, it would hit you because I had punch two, it would launch you. That was the only way to propel yourself forward so yeah when i was half slabbing the entire island in season two i'd have to do the edges right every time i jumped off i would have to shoot myself with an arrow send myself further and further <laughs> and if you met if you messed up those shots you would start drifting further and further down there's nothing below me so it was it was sketch if you f***ed up you had to be really calm and collected or you would die Rotro 909er, this is Filza coming in for a landing. Clear the area. We're coming in too hot! Ah! <laughs> Alright, we'll check the um <laughs> Is that guy's cobblestone? I can't remember why I placed it there. I think he wanted something and I was just like, you know what, here's a cobble. <laughs> just left it. I'm gonna break it at some point. And he's gonna be so sad. Uh, for those that you for those that missed Monday's stream, by the way, um, over here, I'm gonna create a man-made lake. It's gonna be where we um, fish. I think I had invulnerability. If I ever win the lottery, I will donate one bit for every torch you have placed down in hardcore. Tons. That's a lot. I wonder how many that would actually be right now. Can we check that? Five thousand four hundred and one dollars coming right up, guys. I'm <laughs> All right, this is getting sketch. I'm leaving. Alright guys, come on down to Drowned Town. Have fun with that. Alright, call it a night guys, it's getting late. Hey guys, how's it going? Dude, look at the new Enderman emote man, it's sick. Dude, Bolkoon and Bolchan are pretty pog as well man, I love them. Let's do a thing. Okay, so, options today. We can either collect a shit ton of sandstone so I can make the Atlantis border, or we can pretty up our home a bit because it's looking a bit shabby. Super basic. Like real basic. We're going to go to the end realm, first of all, before we do any of that. Because I want to test out the, um, I want, I want you guys to test out the emote usage. <laughs> uh, do I have any bushes? I want to hear those now. All right, mate, we'll be there in a second. So I can make like little, um, Little plants. Looks like a vase. <laughs> it's kind of useless. Like they look okay from a distance, but like, eh. oh, you know, I got um, I got a new thing for stream, but I didn't, I didn't set it up yet. Holy shit! 
For me, that's loud. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you for the 69 pound green dragon. Nice. Oh, nice. Greedy. Pumpkin. Yeah, we're good. We're good. End realm. Less than three. Ah! So loud. Left ear check. <laughs> right ear check. Front. Oh! Well, that's heels. <laughs> Dude, the enemy heads look so cute, man. Plan for the stream? I mean, right now, I was saying that we should spruce up the home a little bit. But I feel like we should finish off doing the end island. What do you guys think? If you guys want end lattice to get finished, I kind of need to keep working on it. The house, like, decoration can come later. And Lantus is just going to take longer and longer to do now if you guys keep telling me to do the things. I shouldn't have given you a choice. <laughs> I shouldn't have given anyone a choice. I should have started doing it. Right. End Realms won, by the way. Oh, by the way, guys. Uh, this Monday, guess what I'm teaming with? Techno. We're going to get that bread. <laughs> it's been a couple of days since he posted it. And it hasn't been yeeted yet. So I think we're good. Yeah, hopefully I don't drag Techno down into the fucking dirt. I'll try my best, guys, okay? Ascended. me. <laughs> Ascended pig noise. Grab some of New those vinyl for the 82 viewers. pound. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. I wanted to team, for, team with him for a bit. In the arms of an angel. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> they had to go. They had to go. All right. I'll see you in the areas. I think we're good. Like I said, I'll do my best not to drag them into the dirt. I think we're good on the corners now. I keep saying corners, but there's no actual corners. It's the edges. So, Phil, today I noticed in the Minecraft Redman Slack channel, we have a Phil face emoji now. What in the Minecraft Redmond Slack chat? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who snuck that in there? <laughs> That's very <pretty> funny. <laughs> oh dear. I apologize. I, I apologize. <laughs> what? Slack is like um, a messaging service that businesses typically use. So in a super serious business messaging app my face is in there in the minecraft redmond slack <laughs> phil face emoji is it phil's good man it's probably phil if it's phil's good man i think i know who put it in there i think i know who snuck it in <laughs> it is phil's good man <laughs> i'm gonna blame dan for that one sounds like something dan might have done it could have been anyone really I'm just checking the corners now. I think we're good, guys. I keep saying corners. No fucking corner. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Here's the last spot. Here it is. E. How do you feel about the recent update with bees? I think it looks sick. I can't wait to see people make like 10,000 honey per hour machines. <laughs> I want to see some busted shit with bees, dude. I want to see bees just get completely worked. I want to say, like, absolute ridiculous Just farms. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to grab some of this. So, you know how I said before I'll do the TNT machine to kind of um, clear out a bigger area for this spot? I think I'm going to use it as a spot to dig up endstone, specifically to fill in the main island. Because I'm running out. I'm running out of endstone pretty fast. What does honey do in Minecraft? I mean, it's not in this version I'm playing it right now. It's a snapshot. But currently, you can craft it into three pieces of sugar. And it gets rid of poison if you get stung by a bee. You know what's super sad about the bees? That's actually real life thing. Like a real life like aspect of them. When bees sting you, obviously everyone probably knows this. When bees sting you, they fucking die. 
they straight up die after they sting someone, right? They die in Minecraft as well, and it's so sad. It's so sad, dude. I was testing it in the snapshot, and I broke their hive, and they all got pissed, and they started stinging me. I was like, oh, shit. So I drank the honey and ran away. And I came back, and they were fine after that. But then I saw some of them just dying. I was like, oh. Oh, no. They're teaching us. Minecraft are teaching us how sad it is to be a bee. <laughs> I'm glad they added bees and not f***ing wasps. Wasps can piss off. Wasps are assholes, man. They sting you for the lols. They couldn't give a shit. Bees will only sting you if they feel actually threatened. Wasps just sting you for the crack. They're just like, ah, I'm in your house. I don't care. I'm stinging you. Wee. They're pieces of shit. I don't think anybody would be uh, upset if wasps just f***ed off. JK, it probably f***s up the ecosystem a lot. Probably nowhere near as much as bees, though. Bees not being around f***s things up. For the amount you swear. F***ing hugely. Yeah, I know. I have it set up so that people can't say, like, f*** this person in particular like like it could usually end up in being really harassed uh, like like a harassment level of uh troll you know that's why and there's one less thing for me to censor on youtube <laughs> also that uh. oh youtube can we get an anti-wasp emote dad <laughs> ever been stung in the mouth no oof eric you got stung in the mouth I remember the first time I got stung by a wasp and I was such a baby about it because I was just a kid <laughs> and I was just like ah! <laughs> for like 10 minutes <laughs> like it was the worst thing in the world it's it's nothing really but like the first time you ever get a wasp sting it's like the worst thing in the world because you don't know why it's happening you don't know what to do to make it stop <laughs> full on baby rage <laughs> It's the worst. What's the dickheads? I remember it so well. It flew in the car. We were parked at the metro center. It's like this big shopping center in the northeast. We were parked up. I was with my auntie and my mum and my cousin. And we were just chilling in the car. Getting ready to go. This wasp just fucking flies in through the sunroof. Beelines it to my hand and just goes You in particular I was like ah! <laughs> And then everyone just panicked everyone lost their shit <laughs> Cuz I was screaming and they didn't know why <laughs> It's just like, what is happening? My cousin was the only person that was chill about it. He's like, oh, you're okay, okay, okay. He was like only one year older than me as well. God, I feel like we were like five or six. It's funny how memories just like stick with you. Like traumatic memories as a kid just like stick. And everyone just got like got out of the car and I was just like stood there going, ah! <laughs> it hurt and I didn't know why. I didn't know what a wasp was. I'd seen them flying around, but I didn't know what they were really. And then from that day forward, I knew. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't develop like a fear of them or anything. I have that reaction that everybody has where they're just like, just. but I'm not like actually terrified, <laughs> which is good. I'm glad, I, I'm glad a phobia didn't come of that. Jesus Christ. And wow again. Hmm. I'm going to get my TNT. Does this place look better with bushes? <laughs> we got plants. I hope you fall. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> hey Phil, you were here. <laughs> Just saw your video with Schlatt and I have to say I was rolling the entire episode. Glad you enjoyed it. I hate anyone getting pissed, but it's not they're not me, I don't think. Oh they are. Oh the mad. Oh the mad. Pog Pog looking handsome. See you later, dickheads! Whee! There you go. Okay. It should be safe now. Enough I've spawned. Oh, greedy, greedy that he should have despawned. Yeah, he gone. He gone. Ah, yeah! Look at that, guys. Stonks. 
it's not a lot really it's really, it's really not a lot. it wasn't worth the tnt it wasn't worth it but it's fine we had a lot it's okay we can use the tnt duper thing to just like spam tnt in one location so it's all right we, we, we only need one for that to work right i'm getting a bit bored of doing this shit on stream it's pissing me off because it's so repetitive do you guys want to see me go try and get some wither skulls so we can kill another wither boss that's more exciting right because I could fall asleep doing this shit, dude. I can click I can click things real quick in my sleep. Look. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah? Alright. Let's do some more hype shit. Ricky, why did you switch it to emote only? <laughs> he disabled it. Ricky's pressing stuff that he hasn't seen before. You just made chat collectively lose their mind. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Watching... I just saw one person type baby rage. I was like, oh shit, here we go. There's going to be loads more when they realize what's happened when they try and type and it doesn't go through. Rip. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Emote only is pretty funny. I like I like that it's an option. I really like that it's an option, especially for streams that have like tournaments and stuff on them, right? Like say if somebody is um, streaming a tournament and they don't want their chat to stream snipe, and tell them where people are. Emote only is so good for that. Because it's it completely eliminates all of that stuff. But still lets people participate. You know? Still lets people have a good time. Not as much as talking. But it's still... It's still there. Your, your interaction is still there. It's still like... Seen by people, you know? Seen by people in the chat and also the streamer. Okay, where's the... Yo, where, where are my skeletons at? BRB. Let's just do a quick reset. Oh, we need to do that thing. You guys are... Oh. Right, some of you probably haven't seen this. It's so trippy, dude. Am I safe? Poke, 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 poke. I'm killing that. I'm not putting you guys through that shit. That was going on for like a paragraph. Rest in peace, 8,000 tokens. <laughs> okay, let me do. Welcome to the nether on acid. You are welcome, my guys. People told me to do a drunk stream. Last time I did this, they were like, oh, do a drunk stream with this on all the time. I was like, do you want me to throw up on stream, my guys? Because that, that's going to happen. <laughs> Oh, this is one with the waves, dude. Oh, you guys are going to love this. Oh, this is my favorite one. Yes, dude. Actual heat waves. This is for real what the nether would end up looking like. Oh. It's so sick. All right, it's enough of them. Let's, let's go back since we've stood here long enough. And see if we have any withers chilling for us to eat. Hey, man. I hope they bring back the one hit in the, of the wither skeletons, dude. I hope they bring that back. I miss it. This is smite five. In the combat test, you could one hit them. Woof! Ow! I wonder if I can one shot if I crit. Get down. Get down. Get down. Thank you. Whoa! -ho -ho! Whoa! What is that? Holy! Sh Whoa! <laughs> that is insane! I've never had that before. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> That's crazy. Yo! What are the chances of that, man? Oh, dude, let's go for three. Da, <laughs> Of course. Dude, that's ridiculous. I've never had that happen, ever, dude. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. I'm kind of worried about this. This, this bow now. 
Yo, that was nuts. One in sixteen hundred. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Pog. One of you has to drop one. Or not. I'm gonna feel ripped off every time now. After that happened. <laughs> That's enchanted chairmail. All of it. He's not wearing a helmet. Too slow. I should have fireworks. <laughs> Didn't even have enough time. Dude, that was a rare boy. I was about to make him live forever. Oh! Oh, look at that. So I haven't been here. That was a pretty lucky chest, dude. Yo, that's scuffed. <laughs> that's that's real bad. That's just wall of death, dude. Thanks, game. Oh. <laughs> okay. Cool. Thank you, Minecraft. Very cool. Oh. Oh no. Get down. Oh, and there it is, guys. There it is. Yeah. That's the fastest I've gotten three heads in so long. Maybe ever, actually. Even when I had my Wither Skull farm in Season 2, it still probably took longer. I never got two straight off the bat, one after the other. Okay. So now we can fight the Wither boss if we want to now. Probably going to cheese him. Since we fought him legit the first time already. I feel like cheesing him is only natural now. That's a general rule that I use. Fight him legit the first time in hardcore and then farm him. Cheese that boy. <laughs> should we go back to the nether and try and get some more wither skulls or should we get some more sand? Pimp your house. Oh yeah, we didn't get to do that, did we? Should we pimp our house a little bit? I had some ideas to make this place look nicer. I do need to give Bull Coon and Bull Chan a home though. We have Bull Senpai also. I guess here would be fine, right? So we've got Bull Coon, Bull Chan. <laughs> no law, we're dumb. There's no law needed for these guys. We just, we fished them. We fished them and, uh, and then greedy, gave them dumb names. I didn't say a single thing when I did it. I just did it and put them I in my inner chest and left. Worth more. Signed up to Twitch just to donate and let you know to keep smashing it. Thanks oh, for thank inspiring you, me to play. Like with the 10.99, I know Australia gets kind of uh, gets kind of cooked on the on the exchange rate. Don't games cost like eighty dollars or hundred dollars? Yikes! Just got here. Do these bowls have a relationship? Yes, yeah, so they're together. Yeah, so I wanted to make like a custom path around here, right? It's kind of fun just to keep create like a random little pattern, and then what I usually like to do is on the edges where the grass is typically put the mossy stuff because it looks like the grass is kind of taking over the uh, stone so here i would have one of those and one of those one of those there one of those there and then the middle is that regular yeah like i wonder if we have any gravel bull coon and bull chan are possessed by the souls of tool lovers that were cherished and missed by everyone when they were brutally killed by Brutally killed by what? I think cobble's pretty underrated for builds. Worth it. Bulls and Highland due to his jealousy, he decided it would be in his best interest to kill them all on a boating trip, put Bulls and Pie in hell. Damn. I feel like the majority of this needs to be cobble now. I'm gonna make it a little bit skinnier as well. I don't like how it's this thick along here. Yeah, no thunderstorm. We're fishing though, boys. We're fishing. <laughs> uh. Oh! 
<laughs> All right. First fish of the night. Okay. Where's the fan fiction of bulls? It's already been wrote by Toxic Rain. You want to hear it? Bull Kun and Bull Chan are possessed by the souls of two lovers that were cherished and missed by everyone when they were brutally killed by Bull Senpai when due to his jealousy he decided it would be in his best interest to kill them all on a boating trip put Bull Senpai in hell. So we're gonna put Bull Senpai in the nether realm. Love the streams. It is the highlight of my day. And also I have never laughed hard at Minecraft than with you and Shouts Hexit. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty fun playing with him. Do you think that AFK fishing is cheating? Nah, it's just lame. And boring. I'd rather, like, actually fish. Especially since, like, fixed fishing. It used to be a bit broken. Like, it didn't really work properly. The rod was flying in the air sometimes. Now it works really well. Ricky says, since I'm a moderator, can I get a small loan of a million tokens? Hello, chat. Should we get... <laughs> I gave Ian 500,000 and he's pretty much yeeted all of them. Fuck it, how about we just give like 5k to everyone in chat? There you go, guys. 5k for everyone. Alright, type of fish and chill with my homies. Hey, pog, 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 love you, dad, less than three. This was a mistake. <laughs> oh no, I've seen them come in. Oh no. This was a huge mistake. Rip you, mega oof. Meh, it made everyone happy, I don't care. I got the 5k, but not the 500k. Fucking L mate, da fook. <laughs> Giving us pizza tokens does not count as pocket money. You still owe us all pocket money, dad. Biggity poverty diggity pop. Da fook. <laughs> Oh. Got lucky with 5x. Thanks, Dad. Less than 3. <laughs> I've seen so many come through. It's going to take a while to catch up. Your grinding motivates me to dig out and 17 by 17 chunk perimeter in the nether cause I was born hunting with the skellies manually. BTW, when will the toe reveal happen? 10,000 Love subs. your stuff, Poggy Pog 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 Poggerty. But to avoid getting yeeted by Twitch, I'll probably have to do it on Twitter. If it Flaunt ever happens. Do. <laughs> my dude. Pop. Oh. <laughs> How many are there, dude? We haven't even caught up to the 10 gifted subs. Oh my god, that's horrific. There it is. Hey. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs, my dude. Appreciate it. Bull Saga, Season 2. The Rise of the Spoons. Would you rather burn to death or freeze to death? Freeze. Because you go numb. It's less painful. Pretty dark. <laughs> I did a music off to let these things. What time are we going to Netflix and fill tomorrow? Oh, Kristen. Uh, I don't know. We could do it in the morning if you want, Kristen. Your morning, not my morning, obviously, because of time zones. Time zones. We're going to watch Pan's Labyrinth. I think she said. <laughs> and now for the BBC News. <laughs> Local Twitch streamer caught in public area with his pog out. Witnesses say it was a pretty big pog, yet not so threatening. <laughs> Where do naughty poggerty bogs go? To the south pog. Poggerty nog pog. All right. From the top ropes, dude. Can I Netflix and fill two? Two? No. <laughs> pog 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 I'm just gonna say it boneless swings are just chicken nuggets boom boop pow pop. You're not wrong really. Whippity wine. Phil and his toes are mine. Jokes aside, I start college on Monday. Thickest of pogs. <laughs> Enjoy it, dude. Oh my god, what a terrible existence. Cease. <laughs> oh. Headshot. 
see if we've got anything up there. Hey Phil. You have gotten me through some really dark times and for that I am so grateful. I am extremely happy that you are able to stream full time. Enjoyed the rest of your night, Dan. Thank you, man. You too. Enjoy the rest of your day slash night. <laughs> I am big happy too. I can do this full time. It's pretty sick. <gasps> I've been gambling for like 15 minutes. Have you got pizza pants on? Your thick AF smile, you woo. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm wearing my reindeer pants. The ones I I uh, was wearing when I died in season two. Who says you can't wear Christmas PJs any time of the year? <laughs> Foreshadowing. It's fine. We're on our way home. It's okay. I can wear these pajamas. They're not cursed. Don't ask who Joe is. Not taking the bait. Joe Mama. <laughs> Press space. Start gliding on a ladder forehead. Because it appeases me. Emotes? They're pretty nice. Guys, you like the emotes? That's what I'll tell you. Sasha. He's the one that drew them. Look, we got Bull Coon and Bull Chan. Let's go to the end realm, actually. I need to heal my stuff. Then we'll call it a night, okay? Oh! Uh oh. He yeeted me off the edge, guys. That was so scary. Good thing I'm wearing my elytra. Just wait. <laughs> Imagine if I wasn't wearing my elytra there. <laughs> Would have been a mad panic to switch them out. I'll be honest, that gave me the that gave me the stomach churn. That gave me the, the big stomach churn, dude. I was like, fuck. Okay, keep going. Left ear. Right ear. Front. Okay. Where did I put the other... There they are. Doing dogs, eh? Trying to be forgiven for what he did. Alright, I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna call it a night, guys. I'll catch you later, guys. Bye!